Hey guys, so I'm going this Alex with Alex your help and it's been a while since I've made a video. So I want to come back making a what is on my iPhone version, I don't even remember now. Um, well, on my iPhone it would be version 3. So let's stick with that. Uh, so uh, since now we do have a jailbreak for iOS 7.1.x, uh, I am actually running iOS 7.1.2 on my iPhone 5 right here. And I do have a jailbroken, so I'm going to be covering jailbreak tweaks, jailbreak applications, and jailbreak, and I mean uh, just my day-to-day -day, uh, applications. So uh, without further ado, let's begin with um, my jailbreak tweaks. So if you go into settings and scroll down to my city tweaks, um, I actually just jailbroke my device uh, Saturday because I uh, really did not do the jailbreak. However, then I started missing it. And so you'll work my device. So here I have Activator, I have AppDie, and AppDie actually allows you to theme your device, uh, well, theme the UI color, so that is why um, all of that is blue. And my switches are blue right there, and airplane mode and all of that. Uh, so that is thanks to AppDie. Uh, here you can configure everything. So here you can change the color and disable it in certain um, functionalities of your device and I'm going to be doing a in-depth review of this tweak. Then I have OXO2 which I have done a review on. It's pretty much a better multitasking for your device and in my opinion it looks like splendid. It pretty much combines your notification center and your multitasking. After that we have CC Loader which currently I'm not using since uh, I have OXO2 but CC Loader allows you to um, disable or enable some sections from your uh, control center. So if you, for instance, do not want the Bluetooth icon showing up, you can turn it off. And if you want your 3G icon to show up your, or your cellular um, toggle, you can put that in the enabled section. After that, we have CC sliders. And this, uh, actually, I'm not using it quite much. However, uh, this allows you to um, toggle on if you want to uh, use the LED or the um, brightness. So uh, let me just demonstrate that. So right now I'm c controlling my device's brightness. However, if I tap this, I am controlling the intensity of my flash. So that is CC sliders. Let me just unlock my device again. Uh, so after that, we have a uh, classic dock. And as the name says, it allows me to have this classic dock, which is iOS 6 uh, stylish. So actually here we can change this style, so classic um, 6.x style, and here you have some more options. So uh, we have after that display recorder, which allows me to record my screen. We have f dot lux, which allows you to control uh, the screen intensity and the color. And so this is a very useful tweak uh, if you are a user of your device at night, if you use your device a lot um, before you go to sleep or when you're in the dark, it makes it a little bit easier on your eyes. I will be definitely making a in-depth review of Flux. After that we have Haptic Pro and I don't know if you can hear that but uh, pretty much always when I touch my device it vibrates. And uh, I'm going to be doing that better when I type. I think you can hear that. So yeah, uh, you can also change the duration of the um, of the vibration and uh, it's kind of maybe a useless tweak however uh, I don't know I really like the feel of it and I'm getting quite used to it after that we have insta confirm which pretty much uh, gives you a confirmation if you want to like or not a picture on Instagram because sometimes by error you like one and you're like oh crap I do not want to like that picture so pretty much if you double tap on a photo it'll ask you are you sure you want to like it uh, yes or no after that, we have noti wa Notify Wi-Fi, and this tweak, uh, it just tells you when you're connected to a network and it tells you the IP address. So, for instance, if I turn off my Wi-Fi and I turn it back on, just give it a second, uh, it tells me that uh, my Wi-Fi is connected, my, I mean my device is connected to a certain Wi-Fi. So, that is Notify Wi-Fi. Uh, after that, we have Polos, which is a add-on for... Um, for OXO2 and it allows me to manipulate these toggles. It's kind of like uh, CC controls or no, uh, forgive me, CC loader. However, it uh, is for OXO. So uh, for instance, I enabled this cellular um, toggle, which was not there uh, before.
next up i have tiny bar and pretty much this uh what allows me to do it allows me to have a small banner when i get a notification and i don't know if you did see how i got a notification uh, from whatsapp and it was a little bit smaller so i'm just gonna send myself something and as you can see the bar is really really little so i do like that trick quite a lot after that i have winterboard and zeppelin and zeppelin allows you to customize uh the icon right here so uh you can choose from a bunch of different icons right there so that is pretty much it for my jailbreak tweaks now let's go ahead and cover my jailbreak applications so uh of course i have syria i have flux which already covered winterboard i file which allows you to manage your device um internally directly from here without iphone box or uh and ssh client I, after that i have icleaner pro which allows me to clean my device and this is a really useful application if you're running out of space just click on clean and it'll give you a, a few more steps um a few more options i mean a few more space um i will be doing a in-depth review of that because it's a really really good application to check out after that we have activator and uh recorder which allows me to record my screens uh, uh my device's screen all right guys so that was pretty much it for my jailbreak tweaks and applications now let's just take a look at my re regular applications so in my home screen i just have the apple applications the stock ones uh, nothing special here and here i have my jailbreak folder which i already showed you i have my extras folder which uh pretty much i have contacts calculator voice memos and facetime then i have my videography folder in which i have imovie filmic pro and action movie and Filmic Pro is a really good application that allows you to control a little bit more your camera application. So it allows you to set a uh, certain frame rate. It allows you to set the quality, uh, the audio, uh, the, even the audio quality. So it's a really good application. Uh, and if you're a videographer and you have an iPhone, I would definitely recommend you check that out. Uh, after that, I have my players folder in which I have Jasmine, MC2 Pro, iTube, Spotify, and YouTube. And to be honest, from this folder, pretty much the only applications that I use is iTube and YouTube. These other three, I barely even touch. Um, after that, I have my games folder, in which I only have four games, which are Temple Run, Jetpack Joyride, Tiny Wings, and Football. And again, to be honest, uh, uh, lately I have only been playing this game, and recently even um, I've not even played that game. After that, I have my utilities folder, in which I have Evernote, Adobe Reader, uh, wallpapers, which is an application to download uh, wallpapers for your device, Flipboard, um, this application which is for my cellular data, which does not even work, so I should delete that. I have the Google applications, iTunes U, uh, Find My iPhone, and Geekbench. And sliding over, I have iBooks, Find My Friends, another wallpaper application, and my Bible. And the last folder that I have is the social folder in which I have Instagram, Kick, Skype, Vine, Facebook, Twitter, Messenger, Justin TV, and Podcasts. And sliding over, I have Google Chrome and WhatsApp. So guys, that is pretty much it for what is on my iPod Touch. Uh, <laughs> I keep saying iPod Touch, I can't get used to my iPhone here. And in here, I nothing special, I just have my wallpaper which i took uh when i was in the traffic so <laughs> yeah so guys that's pretty much it for uh what i have on my device uh if you're curious the theme that i'm using is called soft uh it's a really good theme uh, in my opinion it looks quite good and i enjoy it a lot anyway guys please leave me down in the comments below what you think about uh, this video uh, if you have any comments questions or concerns please leave them i will be sure to answer them and i hope you have an amazing day guys until next time Bye-bye.